Hey guys, Jamie here from TGS Tech Media and Games. Today we're going to be going over my thoughts of the Oculus Rift as well as the PSVR or PlayStation VR and um, how they how they differ, how they uh, how they're the same, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, a little background with me, real quick. I my first take on the VR, you know, phenomenon was with the uh, my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 with my uh, Samsung Gear headset. Uh, of course, that headset, that setup is only head tracking. Uh, there's no movement, you know, there's no there's no room scale, I should say. Um, and it's not a bad way to get your feet wet in the system. Um, not very expensive to start with. If you already have the uh, Note or the, the Galaxy line of phones, you know, it's really, really cheap or inexpensive to, you know, get a, get a taste of what VR has to offer. Um, I walked away from that one very impressed, to be honest with you. I had no idea what the future held as far as the Rift or the PSVR. So, you know, my initial impressions of VR were really good. Um, I like that system primarily for the size and, the, you know, the compactness of it. Not a lot of wires to mess around with. Uh, it was great for watching movies on. Um, it got a little heavy towards, you know, the middle of the movie, but, you know, a little quick a quick break wouldn't hurt, didn't hurt at all. Um, and it was also good to, you know, show your friends, you know, the fancy new toy you had. Um, so I got a lot of enjoyment out of mine. I haven't used it since I got the uh, PlayStation VR. Actually, even before that, you know, the novelty kind of wore off, to be honest with you, and I didn't mess around with it too much longer you know, than the first three or four months. Um, a lot of that had to do with content, though. You know, there just wasn't a lot of cutting-edge content to go with, you know, the Samsung Gear VR. And the same could be said for the PlayStation VR. Um, however, they are picking up the pace with some, some new titles, so... Let's hope that system does stick around for a while. It's got a lot to offer. Um, how does it differ from the Oculus Rift? Um, I think the biggest difference is in the resolution of the screen. Um, you still have the screen door effect with the Rift, but it's not as pronounced as with the, v the P PlayStation VR. Um, either way, I mean, I wasn't really jarred or bothered by either one because they were both significantly better than the, um, the Gear VR. So... It was an upgrade either way. Um, the PlayStation VR also lacks the room scale that the Oculus Rift has as well. Um, you know, the PS camera does a decent job of tracking your um, the room that you're in, but it doesn't do near as good a job as the two sensors that, that the Rift has. And obviously the Rift has a third option, which is a rear camera, you know, for even, even more accuracy and tracking. Um, that being said, the PSVR the was cheaper, but now that the Oculus Rift dropped their price to three ninety nine, I mean, if you have a PC enough, big enough to run it, just skip the PSVR and go right for the Oculus Rift because, you know, it has some upgrades that uh, that that the PS, PSVR just doesn't have. Uh, most importantly, the controllers. You know, the touch controllers that the uh, Rift comes with now, just a game changer um it really gives you a sense of uh your hands in the in the uh, in the game you can you can make a fist which is i'm waiting for a fighting game to come out to take advantage of this uh, the rest out there i don't know about it put it in the comment section so i can check it out um you can point your index finger you know to select options or buttons and whatnot um and the accuracy with the touch controllers is just so much more advanced than what the uh, move controllers can do um so again if you if you already have a playstation and you don't have a gaming rig or a pc big enough to run the rift because it does take a pretty beefy graphics card and um you know a nice high-end computer to run it you also need a ton of usb ports hd or usb port 2.0 or actually 3.0 ports to run it as well so you know the cost isn't as good, as, isn't as low as the uh, PSVR. So if you're already have a PlayStation 4 and you have 400 bucks to spend, you know, and you want to check out PSVR or VR in general, not a bad way to get started. You know, it's not a lot to worry about. You just play it and play it and it's ready to go. Um, no USB ports to worry about and all that, all that stuff. Um, so that's, that's the PSVR. It isn't dead yet. You know, there are a lot of games on the horizon for it. Um, the best game I played for it was Farpoint. By far, that was the uh, that was the console mover for that for that system so far, and it, it it's a really good game. Um, 
after playing games on the Rift, though, you know, you, <laughs> you really you really learn to appreciate what Oculus put together in this package. Um, again, it comes down to the tracking, really. The tracking is just that much better on the Oculus Rift than the PSVR. And you're using much higher-end equipment, for one thing, and it shows right away when you boot up the first game. Um, real quick comparison, I played Arizona Sunshine on the PSVR, and it is a hot mess. I, <laughs> you may have caught my uh, preview or my quick review after an hour with the game, and oh boy, just horrible. I haven't played it since the updates that they put on it, but I'd say it's almost unplayable. Um, now, I've not tried the uh, Rift version yet. I'm going to check out this weekend probably. Uh, but, jeez, man. And I've heard nothing but positives about the uh, the Rift version. So, I'm expecting some pretty good things from that. But the PlayStation version, and if that's the best they can do for a PC port, oh, man, they might as well box up the PSVR right away and never even try another port ever. I mean, it was just disaster. Um, I, I'd imagine that that's because it was a PC port because Farpoint had none of those issues whatsoever. None. So I know it's possible for the PSVR to do better than what the um, what Arizona Sunshine showed. But really quick, back to the uh, the Rift. Um, what, what I don't like about the system is the weight of the headset. I found it to be to get pretty heavy after maybe a half an hour of use, and I wasn't expecting that. I know the Gear VR was a lot lighter than than this one. I thought that was heavy, you know, after prolonged usage. So I mean, it's comfortable up to the first half hour, but after that, it gets kind of heavy. You need a little break. Um, the touch controllers, by far, are what make this system as good as it is. Um, I, I heard that before the touch controllers came. All you had was a 360 controller, and it wasn't nearly as immersive, and I can totally see why. Um, I've played games with a controller and with the touch controllers, and no comparison. Um, if you have the choice, use touch controllers because that's the way it's meant to be played. Um, what I got in the package really surprised me. I didn't expect an Xbox One controller. I didn't expect the touch, um, the touch handheld pointer as well, the controller. And then the, the uh, three touch controllers just really set the set the uh, package over the over the top. Three ninety nine, you get the headset itself, two touch controllers, um, two sensors, Xbox One controller, and you get the uh, Oculus Rift, um, the small controller. I'm not sure what the the exact name of it is, but you know I haven't used it yet. I guess there's, there's a got to be a use for it, but uh, I haven't used that yet. Um, it's going to come down to games though. Yes, the hardware is good. It's really good. Uh, the graphics, pretty good. Not leaps and bounds above the PSVR, PSVR, uh, PlayStation VR. No, nah, it's not. If anyone tells you it is, they're not being honest because I haven't seen a huge difference in graphics quality between the games I played on the uh, PlayStation VR or the Rift. Now, they're way better than the original Gear VR and even the newest Gear VR. They're better than that. But don't expect uh, Xbox One or PS4 quality here because... VR is just not there yet. Um, I can't imagine the beefy computer system you would need to even push those kind of graphics to a VR headset. I know it's coming, but it's not here yet. Um, another takeaway I didn't really care about was the, the cord. Um, just so many cords to worry about. I get tangled up in them in my swivel chair that I used to put my VR games on. Or if you're walking around, it's full scale, so walking around the room, I, I get tangled up in the cords again. It's, ah, they really got to find a way to, to fix that before VR becomes mainstream. Um, as it stands right now, nah, I'm not. It's not. It's, it's inhibitive, I guess. I don't know. I mean, unless someone knows a way to get rid of this or hide the cord or manage it better than I'm doing now, it's just a, just a, more of a nuisance than anything else. An inconvenience, I'd say. Is it a deal breaker? No. But I can't see having a VR system in the house right now in its current state, everybody's house right now in its current state. And not just because of price either, but because of, you know, the technical stuff, you know, the weight, um, the cords getting tangled up, uh, the requirement that you need to run the system initially. Um, you got to have a pretty beefy computer. I've got an Alienware and mine works pretty well. Uh, I do get an error on my notification bar on top of the screen that says, your system does not meet the specification required and you might have uh, less than perfect VR experience, something to that effect. 
Eh, whatever. I haven't had an issue with one game yet. I haven't come across any game that I can't run yet in spite of that, that message. So if you see it, play the games anyway and still might be fine. Um, a few things I did learn along the way, though. Um, if your PC or headset, or if your PC or laptop lacks USB 3.0 ports, you can use a USB powered hub and it works fine. Um, I have one hooked up to mine and my hub works fine. So that's not a deal breaker if you don't have the extra ports on your PC for the USB 3.0. Just buy a nice uh, hub, a powered hub that you plug in with an AC adapter. Otherwise, it may not, may not work for you. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Am I happy with the PS, with, with the uh, Oculus Rift? Yes, I am. Would I spend more than 400 bucks for it? No, I would not. If it was more than 399, I never would have bought it. Um, but the price dropped uh, earlier this summer. I picked it up, and it's a really good investment so far. A lot of enjoyment. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions or uh, comments regarding my use of the uh, the Oculus Rift, drop me a comment in the sections down there, and I'll I'll get you an answer real quick. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys have a good night. We're gonna come back with you, to you guys later on with some more videos uh, on some games that I've been playing out playing recently. Um, so there's that. Have a good night. I'll talk to you guys soon. Till next time, Jamie's out.